We recently had an incredible opportunity to open and unbox the new PlayStation accessibility controller. The whole process in opening it was so smooth and fun and accessible. I am in love. With the PlayStation and controller open, it was time to set up the PlayStation. It's the first time we had set this up, so we followed the on-screen prompts. I was stoked to have Mike there to help me, who is really familiar with technical things. Um, if you aren't able to use a standard controller, you will need someone to help you get the accessibility controller going and get the buttons in the right place. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun seeing it all come together. The controller did take some time to set up and work through. It's super handy if you have someone with you that understands the standard controller really well so you can replicate the uh, control buttons where you need them on the accessibility controller. There are a number of different profiles you can set up also, which means that you can use different buttons to play different games in the way that works for you. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a classics gal and I was super excited to get onto my first game, which was of course Crash Bandicoot Racing. We both grew up playing this game, so to get to jump on this game together was quite exciting trialing and testing the buttons, sitting in different positions and uh, working out what works for me. It's been a while since I've gamed and I normally watch. So to be able to be back gaming again is just the best team. It's the best. I do want to take a moment to say I truly do not think we can underestimate the impact of what having an accessible controller can do to be able to game, to be able to play with my friends and loved ones is everything. I'll let you in on a little secret though. I did my fair amount of losing that night. We'll keep that as our little secret though, hey? Uh, <laughs> we did decide to swap controllers for a round of racing. Mike gave the accessibility controller a whirl and I tried the uh, standard controller. I was quickly reminded why I struggle with the controller while I can hold and move the buttons. Uh, the joints inside my wrists were dislocating by the first end of the race. So we switched back. I decided to give it a bit of a mix up and swap some of how I had originally placed the buttons. It does take time to work out what works for you um, and try different things, experiment. It's all about exploration and giving it a go, you know? My motto for that night was, how do I know if I don't try? Um, we did also wonder about if you could use the controller without using the toggle at all. I was struggling to navigate um, the controller. And it's just cool seeing how you can make things work in different ways. After an evening of racing, how could we finish the night off without giving the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy series um, a shot too? So we decided to take our hands and take turns at trialing the levels. We have what we had when we were younger and, um, and I found it a really interesting experience. My reactions were slower and I certainly got a lot of frights and jumps, oh, but again. what an incredible night. Oh, I cannot wait leg. to experience yeah, and die. see what else this controller has you in die. store for us. Well, and I look forward to you die. joining us along in this journey. Thanks team.